Matt McQuaid was uh, just a skinny little freshman, you know, just trying to learn what all, uh, this place is about. I say my strength when I came in was uh, shooting. You know, I was a really good shooter coming out of high school. My teammates my freshman year in Denzel and uh, Bryn and uh, Costello, just, uh, you know, seeing them and how they do things around here, just whether it was working out, uh, watching film, you know, I always kind of just looked up to them and tried to just uh, mirror what they were doing because, you know, uh, they were great players and uh, I wanted to be in their shoes one day and, uh, you know, great leaders and uh, they were always helping us out and, and teaching us different things every day to help us uh, get to where we want to get. Yeah. We went to Italy, got a lot of experience there, and uh, just they, they just showed a professionalism every day, and that really helped me develop into a player I am today. Welcome back to Chicago, and welcome to game two of the State Farm Champions Classic. What a matchup we've got. Kansas and Michigan State, two teams with great traditions and Final Four aspirations. My freshman year, my favorite moment uh, was probably the Kansas game. You know, it's kind of uh, like got me uh, going here. So one point lead for Michigan State, and it's Michigan State ball with a minute 11 to go. It's out of the double team, finds Costello. Tough pass. Oh, a star is born. <laughs> He's going to be a big man on campus, dude. And Costello threw that balance pass, that terrible balance pass to me in the corner. Caught it, knocked it down, and then doing it on the other end of Frank Mason. Blocked by McQuaid. And we came out on top, but uh, Denzel Valentine had a triple double that game. Everybody's talking about that three. You know, I, I feel like the triple double is a little bigger than well, what I did at the end of the game. It was crazy for my really first big game here, and uh, you know, this is a great experience. I'll never forget it. In our captains, uh, you know, our team picked Josh Langford, you know, and 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 Matt McQuaid, and they were two guys that were almost unanimous picks. And McQuaid, fourth year senior, he is right with Josh. Those two guys are probably in the gym more than anybody. He has the ability to knock down an open shot. Injuries have plagued part of his career, but he's been healthy. He became one of our best defensive players last year. But he's a program guy who's become better at communicating. And he's gotten better each year. Being made captain was a big honor for me. Ever since uh, my freshman year, you know, it's something that I've been keeping my eye on, especially as a senior now. All my life, you know, I've kind of been a leader by example, just, uh, you know, going to the gym a lot, but now um, I'm learning how to do it vocally, and Coach has been helping me a lot with that. And uh, that's something I can take beyond basketball, and, uh, you know, I feel like I'm getting better every day at it, you know, just communicating with different people, with different personalities, you know, just trying to relate and uh, motivate in different ways. And uh, I, I try to take that challenge every day and make my team better. He's everything you ask for in a leader. Uh, he's been through all the wars. He's been through all the, the ups and the downs of this program, really. And he just, he feeds his knowledge to the young guys, you know. He knows his time's, you know, ending soon at this program. So he do, he's doing everything he can to just to bring those young guys along. And, you know, one of them gonna step into his shoes one day. His leadership skills have tripled. And, and you, what, what's great about it over the summer, the players noticed it. And that's why you get voted unanimously to be a captain. I thought he did a great job this summer. I thought he was deserving of it. And he's become a very good leader. Again, playing the passing lane, Roche. In to in, Kerwin. That's an offensive foul. Great well, does work again, McQuaid coming over with Langford. Wow. He, tell you what, Matt McQuaid, playing as good a game as you're going to see a kid play this entire year on the defensive end. Seems like Tom always has a player like Matt McQuaid on his team. He really knows the game, Christian, about it. You know, I feel like now I've developed more than just shooting. You know, I can uh, defend. I'm doing more off the dribble. And uh, I feel like my defense, though, is, uh, was really has made a change since I've gotten here. It's gotten so much better since my freshman year. I, I take a lot of pride in my defense. You know, I want to I want to stop the best player on the other team. I want to 
I want to help out, you know, Cassius and Nick when they when we when we have these matchups and they talk about head to heads, you know. I, I, I do I do take challenge to that because I want I want Cassius to get Big Ten player of the year. Or I want Nick to get Big Ten player of the year. So like that's something I really pride myself on because I want I want to see my teammates succeed, but it puts a lot on my plate too. So I got to pre be prepared. You know, I go into every game watching a lot of film, uh, just uh, working on different angles, how to how to guard these best players, and just do what I can to be the best defender I can. I've only had one true offensive player that guarded anybody and that was Gary Harris. I mean he was a two guard that really put some time and Denzel grew into that a little bit but it's not the norm. Most shooters are not defenders and uh, Matt took what was needed. As Josh started shooting it better and playing better Matt figured he had to take over the defense. Matt is such a giving caring person and what I've seen in that is he's taking it to heart. I'm gonna miss Matt McQuaid because I'm proud of what he's accomplished. I appreciate what he's given to the program and to his teammates. And I think there's basketball left for Matt to be played. MSU playing some pretty good defense and now Law lowers his shoulder, runs into McQuaid. Down goes McQuaid, that's a charge. Yeah, that's what I expected when I came to Michigan State, you know, was uh, to win. That's a, This is a winning program, a blue blood program, Hall of Fame coach, you know, you. You, uh, you expect to be in those situations because you know you're going to have the opportunity coming here because you're always playing in big games every year and uh, you know that's what makes this place so special. The relationships that I've made here, uh, they're, they're everything, you know. That's, uh, that's one of the most important things when you come here is that, you know, I, I can remember every teammate that I've had since I've been here and I, I haven't had a problem with any teammate and uh, that, that says a lot about this program and this culture. Oh, Coach Izzo does a great job keeping great people that want to be successful around and want to be want to get better and want to get to that next level, and he keeps the people with the same mindset around. So everybody just kind of feed, kind of feeds off each other. All the tutors, all the morning workouts, all the weight room sessions. You know, every, everything we do here is for a reason. So uh, that's why everybody here knows that everything we do is important, and that's why um, this program is at where it's at. Being a Spartan is, uh, it means the world to me. Coming here was the best decision of my life. Being a part of this culture, the tradition, playing for a Hall of Fame coach, you know, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else.